Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on formatting a cell based on the value of another cell. So we have here fictitious data in this worksheet, and I have an ID variable, and then I have a post-test variable. And what I want to do is I want to format the post-test variable to match the table I have here with these different colors. So if a value falls within a certain range, I want the cell to be formatted in that color. Now I can hard code this in using conditional formatting, but then if I wanted to change these cutoff scores, I'd have to actually go into the rule and change it. But there is a way in conditional formatting where you can make this dynamic. So I can establish a set of rules, and then as I change these values, the colors will reflect the new values. So the same rule will be applied, but it'll use the value in, uh, in these cells, right? In F4 through F8. It seems fairly straightforward to do, but there are a few tricky parts to this. So first let me explain how the table's arranged. So it'll start as we go through conditional formatting, we're going to start with the unsatisfactory scores. Right? So let's say they are equal to 35 and lower. And I happen to know for this variable that the minimum score is 30 and the maximum is 70. And then for poor, it'll be 45 down to 36. So one greater than the score for unsatisfactory. And similarly, fair be 55 to 46, and good 65 to 56, and exceptional 70 to 66. So let's start by highlighting the, or selecting the entire range that we want to apply the conditional formatting rules to. And we're going to need five rules, one for each of these categories. So we'll go to conditional formatting, then new rule, and you can see there's a variety of selections here. I'm going to want to select format only cells that contain. And you can see it brings up this dialog. Cell value between is default, but you can also select not between, equal to, and a number of other selections. We're going to want less than or equal to. And instead of hard cutting the value in, I mean we know it's 35 for unsatisfactory, I'm going to reference the cell. And you can see by default it's an absolute reference. F8, but it has the dollar signs in there, so it's an absolute reference, not a relative reference. And I want the formatting to match what I have here, uh, but there's no need for the white font, just the red background. So I'll go to Format, and I'll select the background, the fill color, as red, and click OK. So when I apply this rule, what I would expect is that every cell in the variable post test that has a score less than or equal to 35 is going to turn red. The back color, the fill color, is going to turn red. I click OK and that happens. So now I want to add the rule for poor. So again I'm going to select new rule, cells that contain less than or equal to, except this case it's going to be 45, which will be F7. And of course I want to format that to uh, orange here. I want to match that. And again, I'm going to leave the font color uh, alone. It's going to default to what's in here, which is black, and that's fine. I just made this white so it would stand out a little better. So you'll see what happens here. Now what it's going to do is it's going to change the fill color for all the cells that are less than or equal to F7. But that's going to include the values that are 35 and less, which is that's supposed to be unsatisfactory. So when I when I click OK, you can see over in the uh, variable, now it's changed the 35 to orange, but that's not what I wanted to happen. So what we need to do here is in conditional formatting, I'm going to go to Manage Rules, and I'm going to reorder this so that the 
unsatisfactory uh, formatting is at the top and there's a checkbox here stop if true I want to select that actually for the orange as well and apply now you see it does correctly format the value so again I'm going to highlight this all the values here and then uh, complete this procedure so we'll need conditional formatting new rule again cell value less than or equal to in this case now uh, 55 which will be F6 and I want to format that to uh, gray and select OK. Now you can see they're the same thing but that's OK because we know how to correct that uh, where, where it changed all the colors to uh, all the values of 55 or less to gray which is not what I wanted but we'll fix that. So I'll go back into new rule cells that contain. Now I want to capture the uh, good category which is blue so less than or equal to F5 and then want to find the matching color blue here I'll click OK and now of course you're going to see many more change to to the blue and then the last rule will be less than or equal to F4 which is 70 and the formatting here is this uh, bright green now they'll all change to that because that's the maximum value so all the scores are going to be less than or equal to 70 and you can see in fact it does that so now I just need to go in to the manage rules and I need to order these properly so I know that uh, the red should be at the top and the orange should be the second the gray should be the third and I'll just move the green down to the end right, and then all these uh, stop if true. There's really no need to uh, check it off for the uh, for the last rule, but it doesn't hurt anything if you do. And then I'm going to click apply, and let's take a look here. You can see that everything is now formatted correctly. So all the value ranges that I want to be formatted in a certain way are in fact formatted that way and if I update a value in the variable or in the cutoff score I can change the cutoff score or value here and update so for example I want to change this to poor I know that would be 45 or lower say I change it to 45 it'll update that or I could change what defines poor if I change it to say 44 you can see that cell now returns to gray again so even though you can hard code these into conditional formatting it's a little more useful especially if uh, these are moving targets if, they, if you want to be able to update them it's easier to use the conditional formatting and set it to the value contained in the cell opposed to typing it right into the dialog you know, the value right into the dialog in the conditional formatting but remember when using this method you want to make sure you go into the manage rules and this now says current selection change this to this worksheet to get them all and make sure that you uh, stop if true because it'll continue on to the next rule uh, which may undo what you did in the previous rule I hope you found this video on formatting a cell based on the value of another cell to be useful as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.